Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake it, big back, and today, hey man, we're back on the Diamond Dynasty. I've been playing it a whole bunch since the launch day, your launch night yesterday for early access, and I just want to show you guys what I'm grinding on. Uh, as I told you, I really am not planning on spending a whole bunch of money, um, like, because again, I don't know how long I'm gonna play this for. I hope it's gonna be a, a long duration of time. I'm really enjoying it for now, but every year I seem to do that for like a couple weeks and then I stop. So, I, I just don't feel like buying a whole bunch of packs. And I also don't think you need to with MLB The Show, especially this year. There is so many things to play, ways to earn stubs, like free players. And I'm going to talk about that today and kind of what I'm grinding on. I haven't really finished much, I guess. But I'm kind of like, I'm kind of doing like three things at once. And uh, yeah, doing different stuff. But I'm also going to show you like my sales, everything I'm working on the market. And everything, bro. Just because, uh, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. And y'all might want to see, like, because people all the time, they say, how do you get so many stubs? Or how do you do this? How do you do that? Well, I mean, if it's on 2K, it's usually from buying packs. But uh, on here, we've only did the pack open that you saw. I didn't know, I've opened up one 50-pack box, and y'all saw that. And I had, like, 90K stubs in my account. I then went and bought the, uh, so I, I guess we'll call this, like, the market update section. I then went and bought all of the freaking uh, Red Sox players. We'll go down to the back here. So, like, I sold a couple players. I sold the diamond. I think that was a diamond glove or something. I don't even know. But I bought all the Red Sox players. And I didn't really overpay that much. I might have paid... I think I paid 600 for, like, one of the commons, which is an overpay. <laughs> but uh, th he was being priced... I might, it might be this guy right here. I think that's the one. But besides that, Martinez for 8K. Little expensive. Bogarts for 6K. Little expensive, but I'm actually going to use these cards. And then 30k for Chris sale, 33k. So not that bad. But again, I did sell Acuna and also Mookie freaking Betts, who, uh, again, I got 50k for him too, which is pretty nice. I, I think those are pretty good prices. I mean, that's <laughs> basically the stubs that I bought. I made it back. So basically, I opened the packs for free, had some fun, and made a YouTube video for y'all that y'all enjoyed. So that's kind of cool, man. And I've been just selling a whole bunch of players now that I have in my collection that I'm not really using because... And the reason, again, as I said, you can earn so many good free players. So I don't really think we need Acuna and Mookie Betts, even though I love that card. There's a free Mookie Betts that you can get that's a gold player. So I'm just going to rock out with that. In the meantime, once I get to that, we'll come over to the XP reward path. So I'm at level 21 right now, which really isn't even that crazy. Um, but, like, I, again, I'm not really grinding for XP right now. I'm just kind of, I've only done, like, one collection, uh, the Red Sox one. And I'll talk about that in a bit. But you come over here and you see this evolution card. And this is at level 10. So this is really, really not that hard to get, bro. You play a few games, you could probably get to level 10. Uh, but once you get this card and this pack right here, all of these players can go to diamond. If you play the game, that's literally how you can get them to diamond. just by playing the game, man. Um, like, yeah, these cards look like crap now. But you really, I don't even think you ever play with them like this. Like, even in the moments where you, like, have to beat games to get them to diamond you're using their diamond card so it's pretty cool and like it's like a trial run and you'll get to see if you like the card but i chose carlos gonzalez just because um i don't know I, I just always like him he always has a nice swing in diamond dynasty bro and i liked watching him um just growing up i guess i always liked carlos gonzalez bro like eckerly cool closer pitcher um i think you have to play as him as a starter though in the challenges so there is that and then you've also got ed matthews who third baseman can he play another position no and then uh, Rodriguez, who is a catcher, can't play any other position. Whereas, like, I think Cargo can play... Can he play center? He can play left and right. Um, and he, he is a center fielder, so he can't play center. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I don't know. I just like the flexibility with this card. And it is, again, a 90 overall, so I'll get solid use out of it for the near time being. So, yeah. So, I've been grinding this. I mean, you get so many freaking... Look at all these rewards you get for just literally playing the freaking game. <laughs> Uh, we're working on this. We're going to get a gold player soon. And then I think the Mookie Betts is in this level 35. But yeah, this card right here. And while it's not the diamond, it's still got 98 contact versus lefties. And it's a pretty good card. A little decent fielding. A little, little bit of speed. Isn't It's a good overall card. So if I want to use that, I'll do it. I don't know. I just I don't really think I need the live series players. And they drop in value if you hold on for, for too long. So yeah, there's that. But let's talk about the evolution cards. Because I think this is really cool. Now... They have these beastly ones. If you collect every card in the game, you can 
prestige cards and yeah that's cool but i'm probably not gonna do that but we come over to these ones down here there is this george brett one which you can it's just another free gold card you can get for just again playing the game the easy stuff too the starter showdown which is easy starter missions which are really easy starter the, the, this is a free card right here too there's so many free cards bro that i really don't think you need to spend money on this game so i'm really not going to that's just that simple unless i feel like it later down the line which maybe i will but right now i definitely don't uh, like, I also don't love the promo packs in MLB usually. I feel like they're not that good. Like, headliners and all these other ones. I feel like they usually don't give me anything. And they're really expensive. Like, yeah. That's just me, though. But, uh, here's my Carlos Gonzalez, bro. So, you can see I'm at stage 1, 21 of 30. So, I've unlocked 21 gears. I don't know what the heck these things are called. But they look like gears. Level up upgrades. I don't know. You gotta get 50 to get this Carlos Gonzalez. And you might be like, oh, wow. You're already halfway there. That's not that bad. It, it definitely is not... And if you're good at the game, bro, you'll get this card in, like, probably, like, a couple of hours. Like, eat less than that, probably. I'm not that good, though, and that's the problem. These two challenges, these last two, are a little hard. They're multi-games. Everything else, like, they're on rookie or veteran, and they're not that hard. Hit a home run, hit some hits. Those aren't that hard. Like, this stuff was all easy. But these ones right here, they are on veteran, and uh, tally two home runs and seven hits in three games. Not the easiest, bro. That's definitely not. Like, I can get the home runs. But then I'm struggling with the hits. Like, like I got to the final game and I needed like a three or four hit game. And then they come out and hit me like by pitch twice in the first two at-bats. And I'm like, bro, how am I going to get four hits now? It's the sixth inning. <laughs> so that stuff kind of is annoying. And then you got this one right here that is a four-game one. Ten hits in four games. That's at least two apiece. And then you also have to get the extra base hits in the home run. I got I got to nine and I needed one more at-bat and they didn't give me it. So that... that <laughs> That really hurt, bro. So, these are not easy, these last ones. But then once you get to that, they give you some more of them. And you can exchange players. And you can actually just use the card to get this one. Look at this. Tally extra base hits with Rockies. Five extra base hits for ten? That's so easy, bro. That's wicked easy. And then if you do it online, just tally hits. Fifteen hits. Bro, that'll give you twenty right there. So, you don't even have to do the exchange. You can do these moments and that. And then, boom, you have Carlos Gonzalez. So, if I can finish those last two games, in fact, I don't even need to do that. I just need, like, the few hits, and I'm done. So, I could get this 90 overall card for really a couple hours of playtime. Not even. If you're really good, you, could, you might be able to get this done in an hour, maybe, if you're really good. So, I mean, look at the card, too. This is really good. Diamond, double diamond for hitting in defense. 93 arm strength, 82 field, little bit of speed at 73. That's not the worst, uh, but good contact, pretty good power, 74, 81. If you have 81 power and you get the perfect hit, it's a home run. But the perfect hits are kind of hard to get, bro. I've gotten perfect line drives, and that was frustrating to me when I first learned out about that. You got to line up the dots, and I didn't know. I didn't realize that. So a little new to the game this year and all the new mechanics. But this is a really good, like, this is a really good freaking card. So I don't know. Um, and again, you can get this for literally just playing the game. At level 10, you unlock the Evos. And again, whether you go for this one or you go for the 93, I mean pretty good stats here too but you can't you really can't go wrong like it's it's a really nice free player and again i'll choose the outfielder i just think that's way more important to me especially for free versus the card for sixty thousand subs <laughs> subs <laughs> stubs and i can do a lot with that but yeah the other cards i don't know they don't look that crazy this is pretty good but i, I just like the cargo man it looks like a good card to me always is good swing so i am working on that but is that all i'm working on no the team affinities bro there's hella good cards in here, too. And people have found out ways to get this done, bro. I cannot remember the dude's name who made a tutorial on this. But he made a really good tutorial. I really should probably do this. I'll give him a shout-out maybe next time. Uh, I, once I actually get the card and finish this. But to get these, it's really pretty easy. You can do this in a couple hours. Um, like, you don't have to lock in the teams. I did for this one, but that's kind of before I saw that video. And, like, I'm playing with the Red Sox players as well to try and get bonuses. Because I'm going to eventually want to do this throughout the year if i do keep playing so i'm just why not um but basically to do these easily you want to do the um what's it called where are the no 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 where 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 are they this right here the al east exchange or for other teams it's different ones but you get five from doing one of those i think and you get like five vouchers if you actually beat the showdown so we come over to the showdowns man and if you go to al east as i was just saying 
It's a thousand to get in, but you get rewards along the way. Look at that. You get 2,000 right there. So you already make your stubs back if you actually play through it, which you're probably going to want to because, again, if you don't and you just jump into the final game, you're down like 50 in runs, and it's really hard. Garrett Cole is throwing... He, he throwing 99, and then he's throwing 90 on the sliders, and I got my butt kicked the first time I tried this. So, yeah, I might want to actually play through. But even if you do, you beat the last game, you get 5,000. So you do actually make stubs while playing this, even though there is an entry free. Even if you lose a couple times, you still would make some stubs. Look at that, 3,000 right there, plus the 2,000 right there. That's 5,000, 1,000 to get in. It's a no-brainer, bro. And again, these first games are super easy, too. Um, the only one I was really struggling with, again, is this last one. It's a little challenging, but you do that, you get a whole bunch of those, and then you can actually go into, again, those team affinities and get those done. And I mean, look at the freaking endeavors, bro. It's an 88 overall third baseman, 90 plus contact, 80 plus contact, 80 plus power. The only thing it doesn't have is power versus lefties really at 67, but that's still not even like the worst. He'll get some home runs. It's just, and I, there aren't that many lefties. I feel like everybody uses right-handed pitching, bro. I don't know. That's just me at least. I don't, I don't have any lefties. I don't have too many of them. But really good card, solid fielding, so I really want this, especially as a Red Sox fan. And the team affinities, I feel like, are good, good ones to go for. I mean, look at the uh, the Joey Gallo, bro. Everybody loves this card, and I know a lot of people are grinding for this. Look at the freaking power. This is a free card that you literally get from just playing the showdown. Like You, you, you could play it over and over and over. I'm pretty sure there's no limit to how many times you keep playing it. So as long as you have a 1,000 subs to play with, and... It, it's so easy to get a thousand stubs, bro. You literally log into the game and they probably just hand you a thousand stubs. Like this morning, like I, I logged in, had a gold player pack. The player goes for like 1500. I can't sell them, but still, I mean, I can sell someone else who I had. I can sell another pitcher I had. So like you really could get a lot of free stuff again from just playing the game. Now, again, another thing that I was working on as well, we come over to Conquest. So now this is what I'm on right now. You guys can see I need four games left. That's not that bad. This is the first inning map and i gotta steal these fans i don't no one does the steal the fans one i don't think you really need another like a conquest breakdown it's been the same thing since like forever <laughs> i mean the strategy is, is is pretty basic we'll cover this in 30 seconds you spread out as much as possible to take as many of the open spots in the early ones and yeah then once you actually get all your places around someone else's stronghold you put like a couple of those around so they can't bridge out and you just take over the map it's really easy it's really not that hard it takes some time like, it took, like, an hour just to close up the map, and then you got to play the games. That's how to do it. But once we do that, we get some more stubs, and we also get 30 stars for programmed one, which will be the next thing I talk about once I finish up on this. But I did this Tebow one, two, pretty cool. I think I literally went, like, up, like, one, two to this spot, and you, you get a free pack. So there's so many ways to just get free cards and stuff like that. And even if you don't get good cards or good players, I mean, you can get, um, what's it called? You can get just stubs to sell and then buy cards too. So pretty nice. I eventually will conquer this one and, and go for it. But this is a long grind, bro. Every year this takes a long time. And look, you can get a Frank Thomas in here. You can get a 87 Willie Mays card. Pretty nice. Look at that. Another fielder. So if you got this and the freaking uh, the cargo, you got two outfielders for free. Two diamond outfielders to start. And, again, will these be, like, endgame cards? No. Obviously, there's going to be way better cards later in the year. But these cards will get you to those cards, which is what you want. Good fielding, good hitting, bro. That's a nice card. And then you get 10 free packs, too. And you can get a crazy banger out of those, too. You never know. So, you can get a lot. You get stubs. You get XP. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you get from actually just playing this. You can get a little uh, nameplate. I don't think I have any nameplates yet. <laughs> uh, I don't recall that I do, but... I don't know. I've been grinding those. That's what I've been doing. And as I said with the first inning one, so you come over here. I've got 19 stars so far. That's not a lot. That's definitely not. But once you get to 300, which is doable, it's definitely doable. Um, I mean, there's there's seven, there's a thousand. I thought there was 700. They even added more. <laughs> but if, look at that. You get all the way to the end. You get a 20 pack box for free. This pack's worth 30k right now. More packs, a whole bunch of stuff, bro. More packs right here. There's hella packs. These are worth 30,000 stubs right here. Like bro there's some stuff but okay so at 300 you get to choose another really good card and this one is even a prime which you can uh, prestige to a 95 overall i'm definitely picking roy oswald i think i love i loved him back in the day bro he was really fun to watch i don't know uh and he was good for my fantasy team too i always played fantasy baseball from always did since like freaking middle school i think or something i don't know 
We've been play I've played fantasy baseball for a long time, bro. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Look at all this other stuff that you get too along the way. You get free packs, headliners pack. That's kind of cool. They got some nice value. Uh, but again, I don't really love the promo packs, but there's just stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. You keep playing. And again, if you do the conquest, as I said, you get 30 stars. So I already have double the amount of stars I have by just playing a little conquest map. Um, that probably takes you a couple hours. Not that bad. So, And then there will be, I think, moments for these as well. I don't think they're out yet. But I think they're going to do the first inning program moments, which they will do. I kind of forgot about that. I think that comes out when the game comes out. So that's kind of what I'm grinding, man. I'm trying to get that Raphael Devers, the cargo, and... Yeah, those are the two cards I've got on my mind right now. And then we'll go after maybe Willie Mays or some of the other stuff. I don't know. Conquest, I feel like I could save that for a little bit. I'm not really too desired for that. But right now, I'm literally just rocking the team of Red Sox players, bro. And then I'll make my team once we get some of these free cards. But I do like this little Red Sox team. It's pretty good. Devers is nice. Mo Martinez, Bogarts, Shane Victorino. This is the reward that you get from completing the set. It's pretty good. It, it's not the craziest. Like, the hitting, not good power, but it's good. got good contact, good fielding, decent little speed. It's, having, it's, it's not the fastest card, but it's decent. And then, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this is a pretty solid card so far. So, yeah, uh, lots of goodies up in here. And, bro, yeah, I'm rocking this Red Sox team. And then once we get that cargo boosted up, we'll put him out there. We'll mix our lineup out a bit. Maybe we'll have to put him at, uh, might have to, wait, we'll put put cargo at center and we'll keep shane victory all right and then we'll see what else we get for cards but lots of good stuff and yeah there's still so much to cover i feel like i didn't even cover it all in this this freaking mode bro there's tons of stuff you could even just grind for xp just playing into the cpu and just get all this kind of good stuff man you get crazy good cards once you get to freaking look at that once you level up you get so many good cards so um, no real reason for me to open up a ton of packs in this and I, again I just been playing it free to play pretty much for now um, Again, we did spend a little bit, but I mean that's Again, that's basically spending nothing to me. I, I actually again as I said we pulled the freaking Moogie bets And I, I I didn't even want to open any more packs. I really shouldn't have bro I wish we could have just refunded the stuffs but it is nice. Now we do have a whole bunch that we're sitting on. And I'll slowly do maybe some collections and some other stuff. And yeah, I don't know. Or we'll just wait on it and save it and buy some crazy cool cards later in the year. But that's that. Those are what I'm grinding on. I will get you guys some gameplay kind of once I buff my team up a little bit. But that might be it might be a couple of days. Because again, I want to at least get Devers and Cargo first before I do that. And then I'll kind of take all these Red Sox players out of my lineup and make a decent little team. Uh, it'll still have some Red Sox, but it, it just won't be... <laughs> We're not going to be using 72 overall Dustin Pedroia at second base. We'll figure that out. Right now, again, I sold all the cards I had while well, they got good value. But we can pick up some other good cards, and we'll, we'll look at it then and see if we need to grind for anything else. But that's that. I just wanted to make a video on this to show off kind of what I'm grinding, some tips, and some things that you might want to do. So make sure to go out there. If you haven't uh, picked up the game, you didn't pre-order it, you can't buy it yet till. Well, you can buy it, but you can't play it, I don't think, till Tuesday? Yeah, because you got four days early access to Friday. Four? Okay. But that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video just to see what I'm working on. And, yeah, I wanted to get you guys another upload of this because a lot of people don't know, like, what's in this. I talked about it very briefly in the first, like, video. But now we just broke it down. Like, a lot of the stuff, man, there's just, there's still so much in it, man. That's one of the things I really do like about this is I feel like there's a lot of conquest. Con conquest. A lot of content. There's still Battle Royale. I like the showdowns too. Like how you draft the teams and perks and kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's like Ultimate Team but with zombies. You get perks and stuff. It make you play better. I don't know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> um, and then there's Ranked Seasons. There's, there's so much stuff. I didn't even cover it all. But yeah. I create a player. That's that. Hope you guys did enjoy. More to come. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section. And yeah. I don't know. We'll do a Red Sox theme team too once we get all the good Red Sox. I put my controller down. We're picking it back up <laughs> to show you guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really too many Red Sox players in the game yet as well as like, yeah. See, we'll get the Devers. We'll get the Mata and then we'll get the Mookie Betts too. So the only one we're missing is Babe Ruth. Uh, pretty cool stuff, but there will be way more as the year goes on. But that's what I've been doing on my, te uh, my team. On freaking Diamond Diamond. I almost said Ultimate Team. I almost covered every damn near Ultimate mode there is, but that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Just a little update on what I'm grinding on. Stuff like that. Hopefully I threw in some clips of 
some uh, I don't know gameplay some stuff like that maybe I don't know but uh yeah that's what I've been working on man so the grind is real we're gonna get back to it but I hope you guys did enjoy just another video and uh yeah let me know leave some comments stuff like that hit me up on Twitter do all that kind of stuff like the video and yeah more will be coming